Hi, Type P personalities. Thank you for joining me today. I'm grateful and honored. Today, we're going to be talking about the Wheel of Fortune. Today's date, I believe, is February 27th, 2015, but I will be posting it today in case I'm off on a date. I do believe it's February 27th. Today, we're going to be discussing the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, I want to point out the Wheel of Fortune. Again, I'm using the Witch's Tarot. The Witch's Tarot is made up a little bit different. I invite everyone to get the book, Plain and Simple by Anthony Lewis. I also invite everyone to get the Witch's Tarot, um, which is the deck that I use. Um, it's unfortunate that it's called the Witch's Tarot because there's not a witch to be found in there. But I got it as a gift, and I really, really like it, and that's the name of it. But, most importantly, I invite everyone to download the Witch's Tower app, which is really, really good. But I want to be able to point out the symbols in, in this card, the Wheel of Fortune. So you have the pentacles up here, which represents money. The cups represents emotion. You have a sword which represents um, the ability to fight, the ability to go after what you want, and then you have the wand. Or maybe that's in reverse. In any case, the Wheel of Fortune is a change for the better. That's the upright position of the Wheel of Fortune. It's a change for the better. If you notice the symbols up here, the Witch's Tower is a little different. In the regular Rider Waite, there are, there's an angel, there's a Leo, there's a eagle, lion, bull, and Aquarius, and other cards. Again, I like this one a little better because it, it, it just represents my spirit better. I don't like the name, but it does represent my spirit better in terms of the symbols. Um... It's very similar, the Wheel of Fortune, to the Magician. Same symbols are on the Magician's desk. We haven't gotten to that yet, but we will. But it's very important because the Magician is number two. The Wheel of Fortune is number ten. Um, what the Magician does is he has all the tools available, given by God, and he can use them all. He can use them all appropriately. He can use one at a time. But it is his choice and all is given um, by the universe, by God. The Wheel of Fortune, on the other hand, um, and the world. Let me go back to the world, which had very similar symbols. Once again, they are represented by the lion, the bull, um, the eagle, and the, it's like a cherub. Um, also in the world card. And remember the world represented completion. So having all the tools that you've gathered throughout the 22 Arcana decks and then sitting back and recognizing all the tools that you have and really using them appropriately for your greater good, for the greater good of the people that you run into. But we're in the middle right now. So we're in the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, once again, has the same tools in other decks. They definitely would have the Leo, the Bull, the Cherub, and the Eagle in other decks. Not here, but they do in other decks. And it means change. And it means change with everything that you need to begin. Um, it means stability amongst change. Um, there's a snake in some decks, which represents life force. There's no snake here. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune upright is a change for the better. It's good luck. It's advancement. It's opportunities. When I think of advancement or opportunities, I think in terms of, you know, promotions or getting the type of job that you want. Um, if you're asking about a job and the Wheel of Fortune shows up, you're apt to get that job. You're apt to get that promotion. It also means rapid change for the better. It's the upside of faith. It's also destiny. It's getting there. It's destiny. It's what you're designed to do. Actors will get the Wheel of Fortune. 
coupled with the star card, coupled, which was one of my questions, um, coupled with the world card. Destined for change, rapid change, on a world stage, star, if all of those come together in a spread. It means progress. It means new doors open. This is one of the best cards in a deck to receive. It means the upside of fortune. It means a fortunate turn of events. It means a lucky break. It means the end of a phase. Sometimes it's the end of bad luck and the wheels now turn for the better. For the end of a phase and the start of a new one. This start is a good start. Improving circumstances. It does mean gambling. <laughs> Games of chance. Lady luck. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't gamble for years. And then one day, my, my dad always went to Atlantic City. And then one day he says, do you, you know, he always asks, but on this particular day, he was like, do you want to go? Do you want to go with me? And I was like, well, let me pull the card. And the Wheel of Fortune came up. And I looked at my dad and I said, you know, I just pulled the cards and the Wheel of Fortune came up, so I'm going to go, right? So I go and we ironically went to the slot Wheel of Fortune, the dollar slot. And it was like five of us, my brother, my sister, my dad, and we each put in a dollar. If we put in a dollar and it said Wheel of Fortune, it turned for that person, we kept the money. Well, I got a thousand dollars. <laughs> then I never gambled again. Not that I'm against gambling. I need to go to Atlantic City. Not Atlantic City, uh, Vegas. <laughs> um, again, Lady Luck. Oh, also means a new vehicle. Now, if you get the Wheel of Fortune coupled with the chariot, a new car. It means karma. However, it's good karma. Everybody thinks karma is a bad thing. Karma can walk in and be a beautiful thing. So this is karma for the good part of it. But it also means everything changes. And this is my favorite. You cannot step into the same river twice. Do you get that? Because the river is always moving. So the river actually never stays the same. So if you take your foot out and go back in again, you didn't step into the same river. Don't you love that? Everything changes. That's what the uh, Wheel of Fortune represents. It also means entering a new cycle involving a fortunate set of circumstances with the promise of beneficial change, with the promise of um, continuing progress. There are forces in motion from the universe, from God, from your higher source, forces in motion that is guaranteed to stimulate change and growth. Rapid change. And when I say rapid change, that's when, again, I like to talk about jobs. You know, you apply for a job and it's across the country. And you get the job and you think that they're going to give you time to relocate. And they're like, hmm, no, you have to be here in two weeks. Rapid change. It also involves a chance circumstances, many of us have had that, which may bring an end to past difficulties and hurl a period of good fortune and success. Um, it also means making an important decision that will influence your life and how it unfolds. But remember, if the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it's for the better. It's a new chapter in your life. Something great is about to begin. You're ending one phase of your life and starting something amazing, something new. It's not the fool card, however. Remember, the fool is the beginning of the journey. This is the college kid. This is the middle of the journey. You've gotten your education. You've met up with people. You understand right and wrong. You've, you've been through things. And now you're... you're Acknowledging that something needs to be added, something needs to be um, more developed in yourself, and that's where I get like relocating or looking for a job, maybe not in the same um, area, 
maybe an elevated area of your interest, maybe across the country. You know, you're smart here at this point. Not developed, but a lot smarter and willing to take the risk. And that's how it comes to making an important decision that will influence the unfolding of events in your life. It is a new chapter that is about to begin. It is about starting new, starting over, starting something amazing. The finger of faith works in your favor. Sometimes it means literally a car coming into your life. Now, once again, if something bad is happening in your life and you're miserable and you hate your job or you hate your marriage and or you just got separated and you think your life is over, you know, like who would have thunk it? And you get the wheel of fortune. It just means you can't see today, but tomorrow is going to be amazing. So give it some time because the wheels of fortune have turned on your behalf. Wheel meaning rota. Something has churned. Something has turned, churned for the better. It's kind of like making butter, you know? Now, there is a downside to the Wheel of Fortune. And the reverse, remember, I always talk about the reverse. Thanks to Ebony, she reminded me, the reverse. The reverse is always about what goes up must come down. It could involve not succeeding. Um, a turn for the worse. Instead of a turn for the better. Now, I don't read upside down cards. I read everything right side up. So I could get a wheel of fortune in my spread. But if they are surrounded around cards that are treacherous looking. Like if they're surrounded around the shadow. The ten of swords, which we haven't talked about yet. Um, the tower, which I gave you a briefing on. Um... The death card, which I also get, like, if I get really dark looking cards and I'll get you to understand once we start doing spreads down the line, then the Wheel of Fortune is a turn for the worse. It's the downside of faith. The downside, this is karma that everyone talks about. <laughs> the bad karma. Um, it's a dead end. It's going downhill, but you can't stop the wheels. Do you know that feeling? You're like, oh my God, it was a train wreck. It, it's also funny. I never saw this before. What did I do to deserve this? Haven't you all said that to yourselves before? What did I do to have this come into my life? That's the feeling of the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Also is the finger of faith. So let's be clear about what the finger of faith represents, what karma represents. Faith is designed. We have our free will. But when something bad happens, it's authorized. There are no mistakes. It's authorized. It's authorized by God. Good or bad. I learned that from my mentor, Sheila. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you guys are liking this. We're going to, I'm going to do it my way. We're going to get through all the cards, and then we're going to do spreads, but that's down the line. Thank you for tuning in. I'm really, really grateful. I hope it means a lot to you. Call me for your own personal readings, 818-985-2010, 818-985-2010. And please look out for my celebrity predictive outcome videos. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good day.